This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at what is the concept of data leakage or target leakage in machine learning. So what is the objective of machine learning? It is to develop a machine learning model, right? One of the objectives. Okay. So how do you do it? You make use of some data, right? And you do training, right? And then what do you do? You make use of this model to predict on unseen data, right? So that is what is the objective of developing a machine learning model. Now in this process, if your machine learning model, when it is training, right? When it is training, if it gets access to information, which may not be present during prediction on unseen data, you get data leakage. Okay. So to make it more clear, I will just give you an example. Okay. So you have text data, right? So you have text data. Okay. So basically you have a set of documents. Okay. So which is your corpus. Okay. So then what do you do? You want to develop a classification algorithm. Okay. Text classification uh, model basically. Okay. That you want because you want to predict on some unseen documents. Okay. Basically you want to classify unseen documents. So for classification, We need to compute a set of features, right, to train a ML model. So for text, typically we might compute TF-IDF, right. Now if TF-IDF were being computed on the entire corpus, right, then you would have data leakage, okay. If you compute on the entire corpus TF-IDF and then do a split say train test okay then you would have data leakage this is because uh, if you have done TF IDF on the entire corpus, okay, and then uh, you have split that features into train and test. So some unseen features, okay, test data should have been unseen data, right? But some of those say terms which are present in the test data may also be, you know, it will come over here in the train data because of which a model developed on this train data may perform very well on this test data. But then when you put into production, what will happen is that it may fail. Okay, so this is one example, right? So the next example is, suppose you have numeric features, right? You have features x1, x2, x3, and so on, on your data, right? And what you are doing is that you are doing standardization, right? On this data, okay? So when you are doing standardization, you will compute mean and standard deviation, okay? on this data, right? Now, if you do this mean and standard deviation on the entire data and then use split your data into train and test, okay? Here also you have data leakage, okay? So what should you do over here? you should actually compute mean and standard deviation only on train and use that same mean and standard deviation on the test to normalize your data. Okay. So to avoid data leakage, what we should do is that we should always do our transforms on the data after the split, right? So when you are doing pre-processing, split the data first, right? And then do your pre-processing. Okay. 
so you do your uh, say uh, standardization or tf idf computation or any other kind of feature processing on the train data only right and fit that to test data so that is how you can avoid data leakage so what i explained about data leakages were this training example leakage okay i talked about premature featureization so basically uh, you know leaking from pre uh, premature featureization before the split right so even in cross validation ideally what you should do is that for every fold when you are doing the uh, n fold cross validation for every fold you should uh, you know once the validation data is split and then you have the training data on the training data you have to do your uh, feature standardization or say tf idf computation any kind of feature pre processing right so that needs to be done in uh, cross validation basically okay in case of your normal train test split also first you should split the data into train and test data set and then on the train only you have to apply your transformer uh, transforms and then fit them on the test data okay there is also another problem of duplicate rows uh, between the train and validation test this could be because of over sampling uh, data set to padded size before splitting or different rotations augmentations of the same image right uh, or it could be duplicating rows to upsample the minority class so this also can cause training example leakage or data leakage okay in case of non iid data like uh, time series data you can have time leakage uh, you can also have another thing called group leakage because when you are splitting you are not properly splitting on a grouping column right so there is this example where you had 100 k x-rays of 30 k patients meaning three images per patient so when the uh, the the particular paper used random splitting instead of ensuring that all uh, images of a patient was in the same split when random splitting was done on this what can happen is that some patients images can be in both train and test and because of which the model kind of partially memorized the patients uh, instead of learning to recognize pneumonia in chest x-rays so this is some kind of a group leakage okay and uh, if you look at time dependent data set uh, uh, for uh, which the structure of the system being studied evolves over time right like your stock market uh, predicting stock values so if the data is trained on data for a certain five year old period it is unre unrealistic to treat the subsequent five year period as a draw from the same population okay Another example over here is that when you are creating your features or other things, if you have one year's data and you assume that you want to use the first six months data for training and the next six months data for predicting. In case you mix up this, right, you might have first month's data as well as seven months data in your training data, which can cause problems. Okay. So this was about data leakage, right, or leakage. It is essentially the use of information in the model training process, which would not be expected to be available at prediction time. It causes the predictive scores or the model to overestimate the model's utility. Okay. That is what happens when it runs in a production environment. Okay. So this is about the concept of data leakage and it is very important concept. Okay. So the best practices is always to avoid data leakage is to actually split your data before you perform any of your feature uh, processing. I hope this video on uh, leakage, the concept of data leakage in machine learning is useful for you. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you in another video. Happy learning.